our continuing coverage of next month's elections right here in Virginia. Tonight we're focusing on a competitive race in House District 57, which now has even more eyes on it because of some reported online sex videos. Democrat Susanna Gibson on the other side of the ballot from Republican David Owen. But Gibson is on defense after the Washington Post first reported she and her husband made videos and allegedly solicited money, solicited money for them. New at 5.30, political reporter Mary Graham has more. Her name recognition went through the roof overnight. Reports of online sex tapes pushing Susanna Gibson and the race for House District 57 into the limelight. As a nurse practitioner, I know better than anyone that politicians have no place making decisions about women's bodies and their health care. Gibson, speaking to NBC 12 prior to the revelation, would not agree to a new interview. The mother of two says writing reproductive freedoms into law is a top priority, along with gun safety legislation, hoping to curb violence. Safe storage, closing loopholes, keeping guns out of the hands of violent criminals, domestic abusers and stalkers especially. Gibson also says her opponent is too extreme on several issues, including abortion access. As for her own debacle, the candidate releasing a lengthy statement reading in part, quote, this is an illegal invasion of my privacy designed to humiliate me and my family. It won't intimidate me and it won't silence me. I feel terrible for her children. I can't imagine what they're going through right now. David Owen speaking to us after the Washington Post story dropped. The Republican says his campaign had nothing to do with the leak and he's focused on his own campaign. It, as far as whether it disqualifies or not, that'll be up to the voters in the, in the district. Owen, a retired civil engineer and builder, says education and safety are main concerns for voters, but the economy is the number one issue. They're concerned about what they're paying for the prices for groceries and the prices for gas. And I mean, we'll have the conversation about people go in and spend $100 and walk out with one little bag of groceries. If elected, Owen would also like to see more options for students to get a good paying job right out of high school, bypassing a four-year college and the debt that could come with it. Also, my background in the construction industry, I see the need for more career and technical education. And if we can grow that, it our friends at VPAP indicate based off redistricting, this race for House District 57 is a toss up because it's competitive. On your side, Henry Graff, NBC 12 News. Thank you.